Hey guys, Ghost here. Just gonna do hopefully a quick explanation of how to use Pally Power. I see a lot of people struggle with how to set 30 minute buffs, 10 minute buffs, and all sorts of like weird situations. So go over the basics of how this works. Uh, to start out, the first thing you'll see when you install Pally Power is this uh, this flyout menu right here. This is kind of your quick reference for setting uh, blessings um, and doing all sorts of stuff but this is actually the simplified menu. If you right click this button right here, this will show the more exploded view, the more detailed view. Um, and this is where you're gonna be working most of the time when you're setting blessings for yourself and other paladins like within a raid or party setting. So in this instance, I have two paladins with me. So it shows myself, Definitive and Lathracism as well. And first thing to note here, uh, super annoying if you don't have this click, there's a button right here in the bottom left that says free assignment. What this does is whenever free assignment is clicked, Lath can adjust all my blessings for me. And if he has free assignment clicked on his menu, I can adjust all his blessings for him. And this is super nice because one paladin can come through and just do up all the blessings uh, and it just simplifies it. So to go down the list uh, at the top here, you have a couple icons. This first one is auras, and then you have a class icon for all the respective classes and then pets at the end. Um, when you first open a window with a couple paladins, there's probably already going to be already be some blessings set. Uh, but you can adjust them however you want by just going over the icon and scrolling. And also, before I get too ahead of myself, if things are just super jumbled and confusing, you can also just clear and start from the beginning. So again, this first icon denotes auras, so I can just set the, the aura to however I want. Remember, if you overlap auras like this, whenever somebody sets their aura in pally power, like clicks the button to actually set aura, it can overlap. So just make sure they're not overlapped here. And then from here on out, uh, I can just manually assign all the blessings. I can also click the auto assign button and that'll just make it a little bit easier. It'll give everybody a blessing uh, assignment that makes sense for the group. One thing to keep in mind though, is it doesn't take into account your spec. So I'm a holy paladin, I have improved blessing of wisdom. So this doesn't necessarily make sense for our comp, but you can adjust that later on if you run into a situation like that. So again, just scroll over the icon or mouse over the icon and then scroll and that's how you change things. So now that we're done with this menu, we can look at the smaller menu again. And keep in mind this little button on the left hand side, it has to be green for you to move it. So normally I set it over to the side like this, but you can have it wherever you want. Um, and then you right, you left click the green button again to lock it up. Um, so now looking at this menu, what we have here is a couple buttons. The top one sets your aura, next one down sets your seal next one down sets your blessings and then you have whenever you mouse over an icon it gives you an exploded view of all the people in that class that are receiving blessings so what I mean by this is oh and and also you can scroll over any of these and just uh, or mouse over and then scroll and it'll change whatever the setting is um, but what I mean by this is say I have red aura so the button shows red so what I do is I left click and that will set my aura to whatever that assignment is you see now I have red aura um, and then scrolling down you have this blue icon this essentially what this does is if you left click it sets the 30 minute blessings and if you right click it sets the 10 minute blessings for whatever settings you set here so let me fix this real quick um, so the way this works is, you see we have two paladins here, one mage, none of them have their blessing set. So if I left click this button, and there's three total players that don't have a blessing, if I just left click the button, it will start setting blessings. So both paladins are blessed, so there's only one left. If I keep clicking, now everybody's blessed, there's nothing left. Um, so that's how you do that, you can just continuously click this button, it'll just start blessing everybody. Um, one other thing to keep in mind is, it's really common when using pally power to have two or three people of the same class that don't necessarily want the same blessings. So say I'm a holy paladin, Lath is a prop paladin, both of us aren't necessarily going to want like wisdom, right? Like say there were a bunch more paladins and we had blessings overlapping, whatever. But say, let's see, say I'm assigned to blessing of wisdom, I'm sorry, blessing of salve. You probably don't want salve on a prop paladin, right? So the way you can fix this is, you see how both of our names are in here? If I hover over Lath and then I use my scroll wheel, you'll see a little icon will appear. What this does is when you hover over this and scroll, it sets a 10 minute blessing. So say I wanna put, uh, I don't have sanctuary, but say I wanna put light on him. So now 
I am blessing all the paladins with salve. Lath is blessing all the paladins with wisdom. But when I actually put salve out on the paladins, it won't give Lath salve. It just won't bless him at all. Instead, when I right click Lath right here on this button, it will give him light. So here I'll left click. There we go. We both have salve, but we don't want that. So it still shows blue. It's not the final blessing. If I now right click this button, it will give him light. And you don't have to right click this button either. You could just right click his name, however you want to do it. It doesn't matter. But that's how you set the 10 minute blessings. And then if I wanted to get rid of that 10 minute, all I do is just right click his name. So hopefully that helps some people. Those are the basics. There's a bunch more things you can do. Like if you go into options, one thing I do like to turn on here is under raid, auto buff main tank. So this kind of avoids the situation I was just talking about. Say you want to give salve to warriors. Well, if one of the warriors is a tank, they don't want salve. So what that'll do is it'll just automatically give them kings in this setup. And here's the same situation we just encountered with Lath. You don't want to give them salve, you want to give them kings. So just kind of read what the options are and this will just automatically do it if you have this set. Um, you can import profiles. You can explore all this on your own. There might be some settings that you want that not everybody wants. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, if you have any other questions about any of the basic setup of Valley Power or manipulating any blessings, just let me know. Take care.